Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to use some of these parts in the kit to do the lab for the first optics lab. So most of these labs are going to use a laser. So we have a cool little laser that we got for you. Um, this is a little teeny laser and it wants to have about three and a half volts powering it. We're going to use a USB power, power cable, USB ports like your phone charger or things. They put out five volts. And so that's a little bit too much. So we're going to use a resistor to uh, change that to three and a half volts. If you're taking 4B, you'd be used to some of this stuff. Otherwise, it'll be new to you and it'll be fun. And all these voltages are low enough, right? They're lower than a nine volt battery. So there's no sh there's no risk of getting shocked or anything. OK, so the first thing we need to do is take this laser and we need to expose some of the wire. Uh, You'll see that it, when it comes, the insulation goes almost all the way to the end. And we need to get about half inch of bare wire. So if you have any fingernails at all, you can kind of just pinch that wire a little bit and then pull. And uh, it'll pull off the insulation and leave the wire if you do it correctly. If you, if you break off a piece of the wire, you can try again. If that's not working for you, you can take a pair of scissors and just very gently cut into the plastic insulation, trying not to cut the wire, and then you can pull that off. Uh, or if you have wire strippers or a friend who has stripped wires before. Okay, so we've got to, got to get a couple wires there. And then on the USB cable, we're going to use the red and one of the black wires. There's two black wires. It doesn't really matter which one you use. And we're going to also do the same thing to, to get the insulation off. And then the resistor. So what we're going to do is connect the blue wire to a black wire. Those, that's the ground. If you know what ground is. If you don't, don't worry about it. And I'm just going to twist them together. I'm trying to make sure they're twisted up pretty, pretty good so they won't fall apart. Okay. And then the red wire is going to go to the red wire. But in order to make the power, the voltage right, we're going to put a resistor in between the two. So I'm going to take one of the red wires, twist it up with the resistor. And it's a little tricky because the resistor's got a thick wire and the cable's got a thin wire, but you'll practice a little bit and try to twist those up. You can even fold it over, get them to, just get them to stay. And then that red wire, then the resistor goes to the other red wire. And that will be it. Okay, now I have everything twisted together. And it's probably, it's a good idea to put some pieces of tape over if you have some tape over those wires. It won't shock you if you touch them because again, it's only five volts. But if they touch each other, it might uh, short out, which won't hurt anything. It'll just make it not work. So I happen to have some pieces of tape. You could use any kind of tape, scotch tape, masking tape, band-aid, anything you have. Just kind of cover over those bare wires. You don't need to worry about the, the green and the other wires that you would haven't used yet. So those are the green and the white wire are for the data on the USB cable. The, the red and the black wire are for power, a USB cable provides both power and data. So there's wires for the data transmission and wires for the the five volts of power. Okay, so I'm covering over these wires and that's not very pretty, but it'll work. And they're, if I twisted them together well enough, they won't come apart. Okay, so I've got, got my laser. Before I plug it in, just a little cautionary tone. These lasers are uh, less than five milliwatt lasers. Uh, they're a class called, called, I'll write it down here, they're a class called 3R. And that means that they are safe for general use like this. They're the kind of lasers that you would get, like if you bought a laser pointer online. Uh, if it accidentally, you know, brushes past your eye, it won't, it won't damage your eye, but you don't want to look straight into it for any time. Then it, it could hurt your eye if you did that. So don't do that and be very responsible with its use. Don't point it at other people, things like that. Okay. So I've got my laser here. I'm going to point it away from me. I'm going to plug it into like my, plug it into my phone charger here. Uh, and then the laser comes on. Yay. <laughs> 